Mobile Geek's coverage of MWC 2015 is powered by ASUS. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the tablet right now that you crowdfunded. I mean, first yeah. of all, you know what? The look of it is just, it's really quite neat, right? Yeah, this so is, we, we kept going. an 8-inch? It's a 7.65-inch. Okay. Well, almost 8, yes. Uh, it has a well, double tap and it should wake up, yes. As you can see so here, let me, let yeah. Me just so get it wakes up when you camera. double tap. It is completely buttonless. There is no front-facing button, uh, no virtual nor nor physical buttons. Then it's completely gesture-based. So double tap, we wake it up. We swipe from the side, accessing the home view, and then we can swipe again, accessing the events view. Mm -hmm. Here, there are all the all the events of, of you know what's happening in your life, the messages, the emails, the so social media and whatnot. We have a small space here for shortcuts for settings and, and quick actions. And then we can swipe again and we get access again to this thing. And this is a carousel, so it goes and goes and goes. Right. So now the interesting thing here we have is called partner space. It's a concept we are developing and, and mm -hmm. we are looking for partners to you know fill this content. Because yeah. this is a premium space for all the uh, Spotify's, the Netflix's, the Deezer's in this specific case that want to have a premium access to, to the you know, screen estate right. of the device and an easy access because this is really here. So you kind of fall into it at some point just by swiping and swiping and swiping. So again, it's all about gesture based, no buttons. If I swipe from the bottom, I get access to the, to the uh, application drawer and then I can you know, send it back. Or if I swipe from the top, I get access to this nice profile selector, mm. which also can select your ambiences, so like, like the atmosphere of the of the device. And as you can see now, the wallpaper has changed, but not only the wallpaper, also the profile. So right. uh, it is it is basing on on this strong heritage that we have, and it's this is a real multitasking. Is not. Um, like frozen application states. Those are really applications running. And then what we had focused was to give to the user, uh, the user interface, a way to take advantage of these multitasking, these technical capabilities. But then we have made it extremely easy to jump from, from one application to the other. As you can see, it's just a couple swipes away, or even open a new application just by you know, swipe from the back. And that application drawer, it's available from anywhere so just really embracing this um, um, multitasking capabilities that yes. we saw in Migo which was absolutely leading at that time yeah and and this is I, I would say I would go as far as saying that this is the best multitasking experience you can find in the market yeah. right right now yeah. there is really nothing like that everything I mean really if I want to open a new application or another application that has web from the side and I tap on the other application yeah. Or I swipe from the bottom and then I open a new application which I haven't opened before. Yeah. So that's that's about it. Everything is it's a swipe. And now the interesting part of it, since it's a gesture-based UI, right? It doesn't really matter how big is the screen or how big your sorry, how big is the screen or how big your thumbs are. I'm Italian, so I tend to move my hands. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. We just want to make sure that we can hear you. <laughs> um, so it doesn't really matter how big is the screen or how big are your hands. Yeah. The button is always under your thumb. So that's the interesting right. part here, that it scales not only uh, you know, physically, but you know, the gesture scales as well. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the beauty of it. Let's talk a little bit about the specification. Yeah. First of all, I think Sailfish looks absolutely stunning on Thanks. this, right? And, and in general, also the overall look and feel of this tablet. It is just so different, and you know what? I'm, I feel also somehow proud that this is coming out of Europe, right? <laughs> which is which is very important. Yeah, which opinion. is another thing we are we are saying here is that we are the only and last operating system of made in Europe. Yeah, true and that. It, it's it's quite it's quite something, I would say. Right? No, no, ab <laughs> abs absolutely. <laughs>